Oh my God, I just got really white when I walked towards the window. I was so white. Anyways, today is, I don't remember what day it is, but I'm going to the grocery store. My eye is like, I don't know if y'all can see, I'm like over here side focused, but like it is like, ooh, it's being weird. Um, I'm going to go to the grocery store and then I'm going to try to go to Walgreens and find that Bell Elf beauty book. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I don't know. Um, and then I'm seeing Jurassic Park tonight just with Justin. Um, and then my kitchen is a mess. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I had this out. I was like, why is there crap all over my counter? Um, I got more bunny bars. I ordered the vanilla ice cream. Oh, gosh, it's so good. But I ordered that from uh, Princess Bunny. And then they sent me a, um, I think this is cupcake or I think that's what it is, what that is. That smells amazing too. Definitely gonna have to try that out next too. Like um, maybe get some extras of the cupcake one. That I didn't think I'd like that one as much, but I actually do. And let's see, go into the store. What else are we doing today? It looks like it's gonna rain. And yeah, Jurassic Park. And then tomorrow I'm baking a cake and I'm taking it to my dad's house. We're just gonna have family time and the cake is going to be a surprise. Well, I didn't tell him I was making one, but my sister wasn't there for his birthday dinner, so I wanted to be able for us to be able to have like just a little celebration. So I told my stepmom about it. Um, gonna make it vegan, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. In the Dollar Tree. Now it's pouring, and I'm just gonna be stuck in here for a while. I should have brought an umbrella in the Dollar Tree to use the bathroom, like in the back to use the bathroom. Oh my god, this sink. <laughs> At least they decorated it nicely, right? Oh my god, this sounds so gross. <laughs> Bacon flavored bits. Not in my oatmeal. Yuck. Looking for some steel cut oats. Raw, there we go. Oh, I think I'm sorry. I brought my earbuds with me this time so I can listen to music in the grocery store and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than usual. I have to come down the middle aisles which I usually don't shop in just to vlog otherwise I feel like super weird and it's super loud. So I'm leaving the grocery store. Putting my groceries away. I cannot stand when people are rude to cashiers they hire that or, you know, like, not, I want to say something's wrong with them, because I don't think there's something wrong with anybody, just because they're different. I think that's just the way God made them, but I cannot fucking stand when people get snippy and rude with the cashiers that, um, are, like, autistic, or, um, just are different, or they have some kind of, I don't want to call it a disability, you know, just when you can just tell that something's wrong with them or they have some kind of disability or, I hate saying that, but you know, something like that. Um, the guy doing my groceries reminded me of a little boy that I taught that was a extremely high functioning um, autistic. And he was like a walking, Oh, did I just put that on my eggs? He was like a walking encyclopedia. He knew a bunch of stuff, like the most random facts. I love. Oh, I personally love talking to people like that. Like they're so interesting and they know so much. And he was, he would pick something up and tell me like 50 things about like I don't know eggs or and it was just like I I'm just sitting here. I actually enjoy it. I like learning new things. And the guy behind me was like, could you just shut up and bag? Oh. oh, I turned around. I was like, could you just go find another register and stop being an asshole? He didn't fucking like that. So then he left and he got the fucking manager. You know what? Fuck you. I don't care if you get the manager. Um, and the manager came and she was like, oh, you know, you need to stop talking, a little less talk, a little more work. I mean, just have some fucking compassion and patience for people. Jesus Christ. Like, I just can't. Like, he could have easily gone to self-checkout or 
like a million of the other lanes that had one person in line besides him. I don't know. My finger's in the way, sorry. And then the guy called me like a bitch for being like on him about treating the guy that way. You know what? Call me a bitch then. Call me a bitch then because I've worked with so many children that have problems and issues like that and you know they're they're treated like shit every day and it's it's just there was no call I'm just oh I'm so mad I'm so freaking mad about it I I just I can't even but yeah I told the manager I was like that man is extremely rude extremely rude I was like he was not holding up the line he was doing his job he was just talking while he did it I mean, there, there was, it wouldn't have gone any faster if he had been silent. I mean, ugh, ugh. Anyways, I gotta go back home. What's going on with my hair? Anyways, I'm gonna drive back home now. It's Jurassic Park, well it's not Jurassic Park time. It's dinner time, then Jurassic Park time. It's date night. Are you not excited about this? We're spending the extra money. Okay, you guys, we're matinee people. We're cheap. We're matinee people that sneak our own shit in. We're still doing that tonight because I know these 3D tickets are... Did you even look at the price yet? I don't want to know yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's 3D and it's in the XD theater. It's probably going to be like $30 in movie tickets for two people. I <laughs> it's, really hope not, but... It's Jurassic... Well, Jurassic World, but it's Jurassic Park. A bug? You're like looking at the fan like there's a bug. I'm not even playing that. Um, so... <laughs> Hopefully. Homie don't play that. Homie don't play that. Uh, Jurassic Park was, was that one of your favorite movies as a kid? Were you living for it? Not really. Do y'all see our entertainment stand? I still haven't put anything. I put two baskets. That's a lie. I put two baskets, but I'm still like so indecisive. I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate it yet. That was random. I just noticed like this big, it's never, <laughs> when Matt was over, he's like, this is new. This is new. And I had felt the need to be like, we just got it. That's why there's nothing in it. I don't just like having bookshelves that are empty. Well, kind of do, but what were we saying? I think Jurassic World will be well worth the XD 3D experience that we're about to pay for. But on the real, we're those people that sneak stuff in the theater. And we <laughs> always go at matinee. And we're those people that are at the movie theater oh. at 10 a.m. in the morning just I, to avoid the crowd. I feel like it's important to clarify that it's... Uh... It's like sna snacks, not a pizza. Oh, yeah, because that's happened before. Our theater is so, what's the word, unique. One day we were in a movie, and these people came in with, like, a Papa John's pizza. I was like, how the fuck did they get that in the door? Because, I mean. And it's not one of the kind of theaters that actually sells Papa John's pizza. No, no. Like, it was, like, a large Papa John's pizza with, like, the two liter. They had cups. It, like, they were. I, I wasn't even mad, though. I was like, how the fuck? Did somebody just, like, open the back door and be like, come on, bring the pizza? They probably just walked in with it. And then, yeah, those people don't really care the, at that theater. The kids work in the front. It's not going to be like, hey, you can't bring anything. <laughs> Next time, we'll slip them a five and walk in with our own pizza. <laughs> Well, no, when I say, like, we, we take, um, like, treats and stuff like that, not like, I, I saw somebody, my friend sent me a picture, like, I guess popcorn is getting kind of expensive, but she sent me a picture of her friend, like, putting popcorn from home in plastic bags, I'm like, I'm not that bad, but when you have kids, you never know the levels you'll go to, because my mom did that as kids. Popcorn is ridiculous. No. Yeah. Is it? We, we used to take our, we take our own drinks, too, but anyway, we, we gotta go. All right, so I had to cut that off because I feel bad. Like, um, we needed to get on the road. If she didn't even acknowledge us, our neighbors are so friendly. <laughs> um, so, what I was saying was like when I was little, like the only time we could really have treats was when we went to the theater or like at Halloween or stuff like that. Um, my brother was allowed to have soda, but we weren't. If we had soda, it had to be diet. My mom was like very strict on my sister and I. Um, and, but we would all take them to the theater, so our little diet, so it was, she let us have Surge, like, Surge was my theater treat, usually, but, you know, like, back then, we didn't really have those 20-ounce bottles or whatever that they have now, so we'd all be taking cans, and then she'd, we'd be like, flick them and then open them, you know, I can, like, but my mom would always be like, wait for the loud part, <laughs> 
wait for the loud part. So as soon as like the like the lion roared at the entry of the movie, like our whole row, like my family, that like, <laughs> it was like I was just I can't even. Did you guys ever sneak Coke cans into the movie theater and open it during the loud part so you wouldn't get caught? Oh, memories. <laughs> So I was wondering, do any of you guys live like in Seattle or near Seattle, I guess, or that region? Um, any place far north near the border? Justin sometimes has to go to Seattle for work and his coworker just went during the summer, right? Like summertime? And well, he, he just got back. He just got back and he said that like the sun stayed up until like 10, 10 30? He said it was up. He may have been exaggerating a little bit. He was like, it was up until like 10 o'clock. Yeah, I said the sun was up till 10 o'clock at night. That's crazy. But it reminded me of a story. When I went to Germany with my sister, um, <laughs> we went there and like our first night, like we flew overnight, so we slept and then we were on like German time, if that makes sense. Well, so we slept our first night and then <laughs> we go to bed, right? And then I felt like we had just gone to bed and we both, like she was in another room, I was in the other, and we both, I guess, woke up at the same time and started screaming for each other. And then Katie was like yelling in the background, but we were like, Jenny, I was like, Jenny, Jenny. She was like, Heather, I don't know what's going on. What's going on? The sun came up at like 3 a.m. I don't, I don't know like if that's just, I think it was summertime. Was I gone during, I was gone during the summer, right? Yeah. I, I shit you know, it was like 3 or 4 a.m. The fucking sun was up. Because we had already like plugged in. She has, she was moving over there for the military. And when she had plugged in like clocks and everything, it was on German time. I was looking at the clock. I was so confused. I'm like, what's happening? Because there were no blinds or curtains or anything in her housing yet. And we were both like, it was, you would have thought we were freaking vampires and someone opened our coffin during the day. We were both like screaming and hissing like in different rooms like, what's happening? Ah! Like, it was so fucking dramatic, but it was like so weird. I was like, what, what, what is going on? What time warp have we been sucked into? It was so weird. If you guys ever traveled to Europe or anywhere or Seattle and like had something weird with the sun, you didn't know that happened and you're like, what in the hell is going on? It was so weird. Do you remember me like Skyping you like, I don't know what's going on, but the sun is up and it's like 3 a.m. It was so freaking bizarre. We should never take a trip to Alaska then. Right. <laughs> it was like being in Alaska, I would think. Like that's, that's, I thought that only happened in Alaska. Nobody told us when we got to Germany, like nobody told her of her military friends that were already over there. Like, yeah, by the way, enjoy your four hours of darkness. Yeah. It was like, it was just so confusing, but it was so funny because like we talk about to this day, I'm like, you really would have thought we were vampires, like, like somebody was trying to kill us. I don't know. It was because we were already like jet lagged and stuff. It was hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. We got the movie time wrong and now we're super late. We're at the like end of the line. We're in like a crazy line right now. It was wrong for XD, yeah. Didn't this happen before? Yeah. And we ended up in one we didn't. It was $15 a ticket. It's too dark. Aren't we cool? 3D glasses. Okay. Wait, I here. We found it's 1 a.m. and it's so past my bedtime. It's almost his bedtime. Almost. Uh, almost. Um, I cried so much. I won't say a lot because you guys probably, some of y'all might not have seen it, but I cried so much over the dinosaurs. I never care about people in movies. I know that's terrible or whatever. I only care about the animals. So I cried so much over the dinosaurs in the movie. But it was really good. I like that they kept it fun, attractive. <sighs> I like that they kept the whole sibling thing in there with the brothers. I like the first one with the brother and sister. Um, and yeah, what do you think? I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. That's for sure. How could you think you wouldn't enjoy anything Jurassic? Well, I mean, Park? I wasn't really that like as big as you into Jurassic Park when I was a kid, but that was, especially the the way that they did the, I don't know how to call it, dinosaur choreography when they were fighting or whatever, was really well done. It's strange to think like when we were kids,
since I never in my life thought I would see another Jurassic Park movie, let alone in 3D. Like, I never could have even imagined that. Yeah, like, at the beginning of the movie, though, like, I was kind of concerned because starting off, I guess, when you're getting used to the 3D or whatever, it looks kind of weird. But, like, by the time the action started, I completely forgot that I was watching it in 3D. I was just kind of, like, immersed in it, so... But, I mean, like, you forgot you're watching it, but it's good we saw it in 3D. Yeah. No, it's... I, it I think was it's worth it. I think it's worth it, yeah. It's, that I, it just, like, at first, I kind of got that same feeling that I got that very first 3D movie that we watched was at Alice in Wonderland, where it just mm-hmm. looked all fake and layered and stuff. But I think I just wasn't... Like, I hadn't adjusted to it yet, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. It was worth in 3D for me. Because 12-year-old me, not even 12-year-old me, more like 8-year-old me was screaming inside the fact that I could see Jurassic Park. Like, yeah. in my later years. And the way they left it, I, I'm i pretty sure they're going to make another one. I think, personally, they'll make three just like the original had three. What do you think? Probably that's what I think they're gonna do. And then 20 years from now, <laughs> they'll be... Jurassic uh, Universe. Jurassic Universe. <laughs> uh, so much nostalgia tonight, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog on my nostalgic high. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna make a cake. Okay, bye.